overflows. Egocentric identities and life. Ego is conditioning an identity with egocentric identities. This is all outcome of unawareness. You forget that we carry the same spark of divinity within us. We are conceived and born one way. And as the life moves, many conditionings starts coming into you. Some because of the upbringing this is the first type of conditioning that comes in. If you are born in a Hindu family, you are brought up as a Hindu, as a Christian, as a Muslim. So this creates the basis for identities. Thereafter, you create your own identities as you traverse in life by your own efforts. So part is created by the society, the parents, the other is created by you. The combined effort of all these egocentric identities is unconsciousness and it goes on becoming condensed moment to moment. And when the light of awareness dawns within you and when you become aware or the process of being aware begins by and by, this condensed unawareness which is caused by egocentric identities that we call as ego begins to disappear. It is just like you bring a lamp into a room and the darkness that is all around begins to dissolve. Awareness is that lamp. Be a lamp unto yourself. Buddha gave the message to his monks. When you listen with perfect awareness which comes as the process of living life or being aware moment to moment begins, then for the first time you can listen. And when you have learned the art of listening, the life begins to transform. Nanak in his Japji Sahib gave importance to the art of listening. Really nobody listens. When we listen to something, we listen through our identity crisis. Certain things appeal to you, certain things do not. Then inner dialogue goes on within, this is right, this is not right, this is not listening. And when you learn the art of listening, then a new process begins. The body sleeps, the heart sleeps, mind sleeps, then Something within remains awake, within that which remains within is you, the alertness or you can call it awareness. That which remains awake 24 hours, whether you are sleeping, waking or dreaming. 
everything else is false identification awareness is your nature and this is being identified with it is the real identification the body is your abode mind is your computer and awareness is you is your very being is the fragrance awareness is the fragrance of meditation a life lived full of awareness walk but make the walk a meditation walking becomes meditation when you are aware of walking people say that they do a long walk every day but while introspect while you are walking what kind of thoughts are going on the entire gamut of thoughts continue to remain within the mind because there comes a disconnection between body and mind body is moving mechanically and mind is on the screen of the mind thoughts are floating this is not the walk walking becomes meditation when you are aware of walking breathe but let the breathing become a constant meditation breathe knowingly totally aware that's why at times we do a pranayama the breathing exercise consciously as the breath is going in watch and be aware of it that the air touches the nostrils now it is going within so to when the breath is going out again it touches the nostril if you practice this for a certain period of time every day then slowly and slowly it becomes your habit your way of life this is what shiva told devi in response to her questions in vigyan bhairav tantra sinners live in a sort of hell in the absence of awareness saints imagine themselves in a sort of heaven because of awareness and for the sage awareness brings liberation absolute freedom he is freed from all duality awareness frees you from all kind of duality awareness is the key the secret of dissolving the duality and for this for being aware you need not renounce anything in the world start becoming aware of small things taking a shower changing your clothes combing your hair anything that you want to do you need not go to the monasteries or mountains or anywhere else your life gives you enough opportunities you are driving on the road all of a sudden a beggar comes asking for some assistance be aware then this is an opportunity for you to be aware to see that we are not aliens nor as strangers joined we are bound to each other by a causeless force and someone gives you a bad ride see what happens each moment each circumstance or situation that comes gives you an occasion a moment to be aware or unaware somebody insults you listen to it with full awareness and you will be surprised the insult can never remain insult anymore you can even smile an insult or the words hurt only when they are received in a state of unawareness 
Similarly, somebody praises you, you feel happy. Listen, watch and be aware every moment. Then by and by a different quality will arise in you, which is not of this body, which is not of the feeling, which is not of the thought. A different pillar of flame starts gathering momentum within you and becomes more and more crystallized. As this awareness deepens, a process of crystallization happens and for the first time you will feel more and more that you are. And that is when you feel that you are more and more. This is the feeling of being and then moods become irrelevant. They will come and go but you will remain unperturbed, undisturbed. The, everything may change around you but deep down nothing changes. You realize that this is the way life goes on. If spring comes all the blossomed flowers dissolve, another season comes, the season of autumn comes, the trees become bare of the leaves and so on and so forth. Whatsoever happens, happens on the outside, but inside nothing changes. The within remains absolutely pure and uncorrupted, unaffected by any outer change. You are then a watcher, doing everything but the, this is, this watcher is the process of witnessing. You are witnessing everything that is happening. You are listening, you are, but you are not reacting to any of those things. This is your pure nature and this is awareness that you have to live moment to moment. Enough.